so i am very proud to introduce harun karim harun karim just completed his 10th standard with all a plus he studied in a government school at mangada malappuram district and his major tool for studies for communication and now for teaching hundreds of kids across the india and across the globe on accessibility on online education so let me welcome harun karim to talk to us about his experience in mastering self initiative in his life harun welcome to and they pro talk let me say a little bit about myself first just um, okay so uh i am now i completed as ram sir introduced uh, 10 standard so let me say a little bit little bit about my primary education in a blind school okay so in 2011 i joined in a blind school in 2011 uh, in that year uh, actually in a blind school uh, the environment is very very different from our current situation for example here if some students joined in a school and in that case they 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 will uh, interact with the kids and they will run they will play everything as usual but in a blind school the environment is very different that means uh it is like little sentimental or uh, all students is crying like oh i want to see my mom i want to see my papa in that way they are crying all the blind students is crying so the situation is terrible actually uh, i also feel like oh this is terrible so in blind school uh, most of the teachers are blind and uh, most of the all students are blind and everything every events in the school is related to blindness okay so that is a basic explanation about basic figure about a blind school so till 7th i studied in a blind school uh, so in that school uh, they taught me braille braille is a script for uh, writing uh, text for visually impaired okay this is a specially Uh, special script for visual impaired so i learned braille and i got uh, in 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 my blind school life i only read below 13 books okay so not all textbooks are available or not any resources are available everything is like dark but at that time i don't know because uh if i done anything for example in an exam i got uh 10 out of 25 okay 10 out of 25 they will call me class topper okay that is the environment so i didn't feel like you know, i am i'm i'm very very backward and i didn't get any education content i i i i i'm really satisfied at that time with my education because i don't know about other things i only interacting with this community this this blind school blind teachers and some of the teachers are sighted but they are also behaving in a blind way now i can understand so after that in in blind school period the terrible thing is their primary importance is on art and uh, those those other things not in education especially they are very weak in their science math all those subjects 
they say it's not possible it's 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 not possible we can't do this so ignore now on uh some of the students in 10th standard are writing their examination without mathematics instead they will take music and they got full a plus so participants please mute so this is a situation uh now our kerala okay so after completing my 7th standard i joined into a normal school okay it's a normal school and uh, normal uh, actually uh, there is uh, there is only one or two blind students including me the speciality of this blind school is the total number of students in the school is equal to 50 in in in, in other schools in our government schools the total number of students in a class is also equal so after reaching to the school now i am studying i like completely like what is this i feel what is this so i completely feel uh, i can't do anything uh, i joined in that school uh, in an environment day june 5th okay so in june 5th there is a quiz competition and uh, in blind school also i joined those competitions same way i joined so the teachers first said oh, why 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 did you come so i said i want to participate so they given a scribe for me scribe means the uh, if uh, the 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 quiz i will i will say the answer and he will write for me okay that is a purpose so my scribe written my answers and i got first prize my teachers proudly congratulated my scribe i really sad sad means really terrible so at that time i understand i i i i got a point like i'm nothing in this world also i feel oh what a terrible situation i'm not going to success in this in this in this game okay so in next few weeks um my emotionally i'm too low too down okay so before two years i mean in my fifth standard my parents uh my mo mother is a teacher so she she got a contact uh in ability foundation uh, an empowerment institution Breaking. Sorry, oh, actually, some noise come. I don't. Okay, so uh, an institution for for the empowerment of blind. So there, I joined a computer course, and I I I know a little bit of computer and some basics. So I basically I can say I can, I know typing. So in those days. i try to write my diaries using computer i understood that this is a big success and i can go with that so after uh, understanding the reality i i talked to my blind school friends actually this is my problem and in classroom i can't do anything because uh, the main problem is if i'm writing something in the braille script no one can understand what i'm doing okay so uh i talked to my seniors and they said like no problem you will get marks in exam and you will pass to next class the teachers di didn't ask for you for your homeworks so no problem so that is terrible i can't uh, uh, i can't agree with that because if i'm not doing anything why i i can't agree basically i can say so after that i tried to do some little homeworks using computer but i am not confident to uh, give my homeworks to my teacher because i don't know this is so my blind school staff also said oh this is not a good thing so i am i'm also unaware of this but i'm trying little bit so after that uh actually in august i think 
my english teacher uh, told like tomorrow you have an exam you have a class test and uh, in next day everyone take papers and started writing i am doing nothing teacher is reading questions but if i write my examination using braille is a waste paper nothing more than that i'm too sad i stand up and uh, go go to and talk to the teacher teacher may i write my examination using computer i i asked to her then teacher asked do you have computer now yeah i have so she told go and do that so that's a six period uh, uh 240 afternoon so uh, i i write my first examination using computer in that day okay so that is really an amazing experience and uh, i got 18 out of 20 in that examination and uh, the second uh, the top is second mark in the class so the teacher gifted me a notebook okay so that is the first experience on computer in my life so uh, in that 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 situation the teachers uh, understand i can do a little bit and they 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 try to support me and uh, they they told like you you should try what it what or, actually they they tried their maximum to support me personally emotionally so i tried some more examinations in malayalam and some so, some more class examinations in malayalam and on those languages using computer and this success so i don't know how i asked to my hm now i can't imagine uh, my situation on that time i asked to my hm teacher uh, may i write my 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 uh, onam examination using computer so if you can teacher my teacher asked if you can teacher i will try so practice if you can then do it that is the first examination i have written using computer okay so no one is supporting me no everyone saying like you can't you can't you can't use braille otherwise you will become spoiled in that way they they they, they talk to me so in that examination also i used a scribe for writing mathematics and science because in microsoft word we can write like english malayalam hindi all other things but the writing of scientific things is very very difficult for example if i want to write 3 by 4 i can't it's not accessible so there also my uh, my all teachers really excited on that and they supported me a lot i can say so uh, after that examination teachers given papers to me uh accept math and science science means in that uh, seventh standard in kerala that is called basic science okay it's only one book so uh, all other subject not in math and science all other subjects i got a plus so now what i'm sad because i can't do anything with math and science i can't dictate my 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 i can't say to i can't explain everything to my scribe uh, it is making me so many troubles so i can't do anything so next exam also i continued the same way and uh, my science and math uh, results little bit improved so in those days i participated a lot of quiz competition and i got a lot of first prize my teachers congratulated me okay so that is also very important in my life so it that is uh, those things motivated me a lot to do this all things very confidently i can say so after that in ninth standard i have taken a strict decision i should do something for Uh, handling mathematics and science using computer 
in that scenario i learned programming languages i know computer how to use computer and those things and in that scenario i learned how to how to code i learned basics of python and uh, downloaded books from internet okay so using computer a visually impaired person can read everything everything means we uh, not math and science all other things okay so i want two solution i can read my all other textbooks using computer and uh, even i can write all my things using computer but the reading there is some barriers actually the navigation is not possible for example if i ocr the text and if i if, if, if i'm reading the book the teacher say go to page number 21 and read the paragraph 2 i can't so uh, in the book teacher say look at the figure 3.2 the figure is not visible to me so i can't do anything so in this uh, eighth standard vacation uh, i had a call from akhil chetan he is a volunteer of chakshumati assistive technology center and he invited me to the eyes free sites camp chakshumati's program so i joined the program and uh, they taught me like they give they they introduced me a uh, bookshare bookshare is the largest online library for print disabled so that is the first exciting turning point in my life so uh, like uh in that workshop i got bookshare membership bookshare account and i started reading i already explained to you like only uh 13 books i have read before uh, my seventh standard after the after the coming of bookshare i read lot of books no count lot of books so uh that is a change after and before bookshare and chakshumati so in the ninth standard uh, also i am facing the same issue and uh, chakshumati uh, someone told me like there is a tool called math type so there is there is there is also a little bit programming required you can do it so i tried this math type little bit so i can write mathematical equation but this, that is very 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 complicated and uh, uh, no one is no one no one in the industry is uh, ready to teach they, they don't know about this things very much uh, in that case i want to explore everything my own and i should learn at all so i explored this application and i explored everything in internet so i i can do a little bit of mathematics like fractions and uh, basic there are also some limitations so in that time uh, uh in that year i wrote my examination all examination using computer in the way of uh, struggling way math math type the software is very struggling and sometimes it doesn't respond so there is a lot of limitation so a uh, bit bit confusing and time lagging but i succeeded and uh, in the ninth christmas examination i got all a plus that is the first examination in my school i got all a plus in the, in the all other cases i i fa- i i i didn't get a plus in math and science so in the final examination ninth final examination i used math type but the software um, uh, troubled and uh, technically it's unstable and uh, i got 12 marks in mathematics in 80 in 80 i got 12 marks in mathematics in 40 i got 24 marks in chemistry so i'm really sad and uh, i can't imagine because i like this both i like uh, my favorite subjects are physics chemistry and mathematics so i got low marks my teachers is also harun what happened so at that time one day ram kamal sir called me like harun there is a team called infinity uh, they have some tools for visually impaired and it's paid you want to pay around uh, 80000 indian rupees let me try 
So I searched in the internet for this Inti editor. Okay. In this Inti editor. And uh, I found find out some software for visual impact. As Ramsa told, the amount is uh, 82,000. Okay. So after that, after that terrible situation, I find out one more thing. This Infty project have a software called Infty Editor. It's not for blind. It's for sighted users to input mathematics and science. So uh, have a little hope. Like I can do a little bit of this. I know a little bit of programming and I can do anything. Anything is okay in that situation because uh, anything is much better than nothing. So uh, I can say I I downloaded the software and installed it. And as usual, it is completely inaccessible with screen reading software. So I have done. Uh, I know I already explained my my pro. I learned programming. So in that case, I done something in JAWS for making it accessible with the complete support of my parents. And uh, at the end, the software become partially accessible. So I have sent my script to the Inti project, and they applied the script in the software. And they done some accessibility features. Now the software is completely accessible for visual impact. In the 10 standard beginning onwards, I have another struggle. That is, this software has a basic functionality of writing x one by two fraction or uh, x square x of x to the power of six and those things. But all symbols are not there, so there is also some limitations. So what I can do? That's my thinking. So uh, I'm, 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 I'm exploring in the uh, in, in internet uh, how to add the symbols. So I find out some open source libraries in this area and I downloaded the library and uh, my mother is a math teacher and uh, we both taken a big effort to actually I want to name the each symbol. Okay. I named it simple and added to the empty editor repository. Uh, uh, it, 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 this process takes in August, last year, August, okay, 2019 August. Okay. So, uh, one of my quarterly examination come and, uh, I am in the technical challenges and uh, I'm not so good in mathematics. Uh, in that that examination mode. Okay. So after that, after that situation, uh, the things changed and this library become ready in the September end, I think. So then I'm happy. I can do everything, no technical troubles. So I, I have written all the notes all now on I'm write, writing all the notes using computer. So for example, I want to write text square using math type. I will take two or three minutes. Okay. So in that way, I have written my notes and uh, this infty come everything within a second. Okay. So after that, uh, the next step is I want to apply for the, I have already, I have written all examination using computer, but the problem is I want to uh, write my SSLC examination, public examination uh, conducted by a state board. Also, I want to write using computer. So from November onwards, um, I'm, I'm trying to do this. Okay. So before that, I forgot to say one thing that is in August, this infty struggle, same time, another thing happened. Uh, my school in July, my school requested for my SLC examination and the DEO as usual said no. So they come in school and they, they, they shouted to the school and said like, who given permission, who, who, who told you to uh, give permission for this boy to write examination using computer. He should use, he should write using scribes and we should compare the marks and we will give the marks. So in one day after school opening, I have written my old examination again using scribe. 
that's another terrible situation okay so in the november uh, we again come with a request and uh, it's processed and uh, i think in december uh, i wrote my christmas examination well no technical difficulties everything is perfect so my first examination in that kind so after that we come to trandrum and uh, convey, uh, explained everything to the educational secretary and he promised you, you will get permission okay months gone i am in my studies i am completely concentrated on studies i am i'm thinking like he will keep his promise and he will do everything so in february i think in february um, our model examination started one day after my examination my headmaster headmistress called me in the into the office and told me you can't write boy because uh, the educational department say like they can't allow this so again emotionally i can I, i have already taken a decision if i can't write my examination using computer i will leave my studies in this year and join in cbsc syllabus next year and write my examination that's i already decided so uh, again we are struggling and uh, i already told like my mother is a max teacher and our honorable speaker p sridamakrishnan sir he is a colleague of my mother so we contacted him personally and at the end the minister ensured the order for me so there is also one terrible thing i studied in front of uh, i studied in front of secretary i'm sitting for the order and uh, taken my laptop and studying in front of secretary trend okay so anyway uh, i got permissions and i have written my examination okay so now i got full a plus so the terrible thing in my life is i want to struggle a lot for learning the informations learning the knowledge my friends who got from their childhood in the blind school the educational uh, level is very low and until 7th standard i think yeah th- this is really good this is extremely good i feel okay after 7th standard i understand my friends is 100 times better than me in this case so i understand like my mathematics and science is poor and i have a knowledge of a 5th standard student at the 8th standard so that is the main trouble i face actually uh, i i got support from my teachers and uh, uh, my parents especially from chakshumati and bookshare okay so uh in my ninth vacation bookshare promised uh, they they done a good job like they created all the books in the t- state board to 8 9 10th accessible so i can understand all the images i can read all the mathematical equation thanking you guys bookshare thanking bookshare because without them i can't study everything i can't study this mathematics and science this much perfectly that is uh, that is the main thing the community the bookshare done for me then chakshumati is always with me and in this this time i can i'm i'm more than happy i can say uh, in this community if they try to explore anything they can do anything for example uh, this is my experience so i feel as a blessing of god uh, i i should explore and that way i feel that's a purely i can say this is a blessing of god so uh in that case i tried to do the soul and i i i got success also i think so the main problem of our whole community is they are not exploring anything alone 
they are taking the book and reading what's in the book and they are closing the book uh -huh. i'm perfect that's the problem of our new community our modern community and our current situation so the society should uh, should should try to explore for example if you have any requirement if you have anything to do you should explore otherwise if you feel yeah, someone uh, take charge of me and they will explore for me and they will come with the result and i will do then you can't do anything because this someone they will explore for themselves so uh, i shared my story and uh, i can say i the the blessing of god in my life is he given an attitude to explore if there is some limitation i tried to solve a little bit at least that's why uh, i achieved a little like this so uh, that is a basic uh, basic experience on mine and uh, my <laughs> i can call it like my exploration life so in that case i can uh, i can purely say this exploration is the only catalyst who make me confident and ready to do this all thing so now on i am improving my language skills because in 1 to 7 i didn't get anything anything better in english and uh, they are only in their native language and i already explained their their priorities on art like uh, music work experience or those way so i didn't get anything in the language sphere after 7th standard i am now on i am trying to improve my everything so thank you okay harun shall we go for question and answer okay. sessions okay sir go on okay to so everybody harun studied in malayalam medium till late standard when he came to the science camp we said brave enough move to english medium you will see the change in your life now harun is very confident in delivering speeches in english he is taking chakshmadi's let us flatten the inaccessibility curve global education training program so i'm really proud in seeing the development in harun and i could say like i had to give him 100% mark only for his dedication and ready for exploration mind this is what i feel missing in the young generation because young generation everything comes in power in the shape of textbooks in the shape of gates in the shape of tutors hardly few explore themselves to find solutions or maybe solutions in different ways okay now the floor is open for questions if you want to ask questions you can put in chat or you can ask also uh who is going to ask first question no questions <laughs> hello arun Hello, sir. Yeah. Sumesh Chandran, uh, awesome, uh, uh, great speech, and quite surprised. I joined a bit late, um, and uh, what I heard from this last speaker that uh, you were in Malayalam medium, and then now moved to English, and uh, for last two years, you have picked up the language really well. Awesome. All are my blessings. Okay, today is Guru Purnima Day. You will scale great heights. All right. so uh, my question is can this be these things be used by uh, normal students see so, some of them have lot of uh, learning disability uh, they may not be uh, you know some of, some of them are really good in um, auditory skills so these things these tools can be used by by them will this be applicable to normal 
person this is a normal this all technologies are normal and uh, it is usable for, by everyone okay see if someone is writing something in the if imagine you are writing something in your microsoft word in your computer it okay. is accessible to visually impaired and it is accessible to you also same way if you are writing something in the math editor i have mentioned it is visible to everyone even uh, in my case i have printed my examination and given same way if some sighted some normal students come and they they want to do their all all things using computer this same way is applicable to them also no difference in anything okay okay here i i want to add something to this question okay yeah, please go once upon ahead. a time once upon a time there is to be different technologies for the people with uh, disabilities and there will be different technology for the normal people so we call it like access technologies right but nowadays what we promote takshmudi promote is like to have a single system or do we want if two different things it should be born accessible anything and everything whatever we produce should be born accessible so that it can be used by a normal person or a person with needs so we chakshmadi call it as a kind of term called print disabled as you said someone like to have auditory skills yes sir we call yes. them as print disabled print, print disabled, disabled means those who can those who can effectively use the printed text okay correct correct for them also see whatever harun is using now it doesn't have any difference between the normal system or the system which he is using he is using the help of a screen reader software okay to use all these technologies but there was a problem on the previous days like okay not all the screen reading software will access all those contents which is available in a system now with the advent of unicode systems and most of these accessible uh, terminologies now everything is born accessible so all the systems can be used by anyone so that is what i should say like all the students in this pandemic area their teachers are teaching them especially in kerala they are teaching them on the television channel because the teachers can't type or key in dynamically and teach a student using a mobile phone a computer because computers might be costly a mobile phone you can purchase it for maximum 6000 8000 rupees adding a, I mean, a keyboard it has become a well good computer for a student so that same technology can be used by teachers also for teaching and the same technology can be used by students also for learning hope things are clear for you yes yes sir yes sir right. we can go for the next question yeah please sir uh, makash okay yeah hi harun yes with this yeah. short duration how you achieve that typing speed in different these three languages one in hindi uh, or in english and other one in malayalam how you practice these uh, three languages well in within this uh, this short period after that eight standard only you learned all those things and all those three languages are uh, that accessible for that your screen reading software yeah it is accessible for screen reading software but uh, there is also some limitation i didn't explain because everything if i come to this i i i i i, I heard the first, i heard first about limitations okay so uh, language and typing so so this is my requirement okay uh, for example if i am not ready to learn this i will fail so i want to become success that's my aim so in that case uh, like uh, i have taken a decision like i should struggle a lot and uh, you know after my eight standard you know uh, that, that amazing thing is they uh, 
what i can say they uh, everyone my parents they they told like harun go and take rest harun go and take rest because 24 hours i'm sitting in front of computer and learning 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 so in that practice uh, I, go, i i i achieved uh, this within 9 or 10 months actually that is not just anything special that is my requirement sir i have no other option uh, one is like uh, first option is i can depend someone i am not ready to do so so i left Okay, great man. Congratulations. So, okay, in uh, in in that August question, I want to add something. Okay, August talked about three languages, basically three languages. Science and maths is also <laughs> equally another language, which you yeah. can't type like that. It's much understand. Much It is deep. much more difficult than learning Hindi or Malayalam. Also, we want to. So develop. this is. yeah this is what i i could say like if if any of the sighted students want to learn sci- when a typing maths or typing science we are happy to help them out okay now there is a question okay, from hari there is a question from hari where did harun learn programming oh audio mute sir am i audible yes yes so uh basically i learned programming from the internet so there is a book called byte of python uh, the author is swarup ch i downloaded the book and uh, i got the bytes of python and uh, so after reading the book i i understand like uh, yeah these are the basic concepts so after that i read uh, the book called automate the boring stuff with python so that given another another light uh, on the usage of programming languages and uh, i got a clear idea on that so after that i joined many many online courses and uh, most of you can say my most of the learnings in the it field like uh, uh, sql and uh, this all languages or those kind of things from the books most books i have downloaded from bookshare after the coming so question yeah go okay ahead. my question yeah. okay okay um during those hard times of yours who uh, like in teachers or like who in particular supported you the most during your hard times and like that ram kamal sir if i know he is here but that's a true for example supporting means his way is very simple i don't try to do it go and explore these things help me a lot to know more to understand more also in my school there is a teacher called sunil he he is a main motivator for my emotional situations like he said harun why you are like this you can baba you can he he always giving me support also my parents and my friends everyone in particularly i can say this ram kamal sir and this oh, it was okay uh, to all who participated okay, in today's thank session thank you thank you anshi thank you anshi to who all participated this today's program next year we may have anshi on floor because she is now getting into 10th standard and uh, she is also a brilliant techno learner and uh, there are many more other kids also following harun under his coaching okay any other questions yeah okay um, ashwin's mom here uh, you had learned programming right so like what Uh, thought drove you towards learning programming, and uh, uh, basically, how did it uh, help you through your school your schooling years and other things? Yes, yeah. Question again. You had uh, you had told you had learned programming uh, Python programming. Wait, uh, yeah. what made you to think that you have to start learn programming? Like, what was the necessity? uh at that time and uh, 
uh, what uh, how best you could use it in your school years okay so the requirement is very simple there is no solutions available so if i ask to anyone nothing is developed some developers will do in the future everyone say like that for example if i don't know programming i can't do an accessible layer on int editor so it doesn't become accessible even i can't write my excel c examination using computer basically i can i, I will i will give such like an accessible so in the in, if, if 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 we go to deeper uh, i can say like uh, hmm. after learning programming if i feel this is inaccessible i will do something in the java scripting or in some in in some way with with the knowledge of programming language for making it accessible okay so also now uh, i am i am doing like this int editor is not good with nvd so now i am doing some add on works in nvd that's also because of programming so for the developing purpose there is nothing developed for for the making it accessible for that purpose i learned programming the best result is i have written my scc examination in computer thank you okay here when we talk about coding yes okay. ofb tech trainers are totally convinced that every student should learn coding because coding gives them confidence coding gives them innovation coding gives them the curiosity to explore and make something their own exactly we yeah so we will definitely i mean ofb definitely will start doing some basic coding courses for students school students especially uh, say 7th standard 8th standard students because it is a must it is a must for the future life there is no question in that there is no shortcut in the life i am i still still wonder in the school it classes they are teaching them about typing they are teaching teaching them about computer parts and orientation why can't they teach them coding i'm sorry coding yeah. makes everybody a scientist yeah please go ahead so uh, in our it textbooks i can say there is coding visual coding okay there is something like uh, visual coding and scratch the limitation it is i can say they should learn uh, the way of writing language otherwise they feel this is coding and uh, you know the scratch those methodologies is very very limited and they can't do much better things but they the syllabus Uh, producers called yeah we learn, we are talking we are we are we are completely uh, ready to learn programming our syllabus contain programming as i still remember when it was coming to learn python i said if you learn english you can learn python <laughs> it's as simple as that okay any more questions thank you ma'am thank you thank you haron uh, one more question from my side uh, how do you see what is your next move like uh, what will be your studies what is your future plan ram sir can you step out of the animation then please go ahead please go ahead and answer you you have designed already yeah exactly that's why i told like <laughs> so uh, i want to complete my uh, Plus one plus two in computer science, and uh, I want to this is Stanford University for completing my graduation on software engineering uh, from Stanford University USC. That's my goal. Yeah. Great, great. All the Okay. okay there is a question from srinidhi when and how were you interested in computer interest means i understand my requirements and i find out this is the only way of solving my problems 
then I, I, I really become interested. Aware means from, I already explained from ability foundation for the disabled. I got a basics of computer and I, I got a little awareness about computer. After coming to eight standard, I, 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 I am thrown into a big world of blank things, dark things. So computer is the only solution. That's why uh, then I become interested in computer. I can solve my problems. I, I still remember Harun stayed in a blind school hostel oh. during his 8, 9 and 10 standard. Terrible. And the school, the hostel authorities were not allowing him to take a mobile phone or a computer to the hostel. There was a huge fight. <laughs> you can explain. <laughs> so, uh, that's another very important in this area like they didn't allow me to use computers or mobile phones so actually uh, the requirement of mobile phones uh, capturing photos and reading some normal text is much better with mobile phones so uh, i used this both and they didn't allow me and uh, the, the basic problem is i write everything from the school and i can't do any homework anything from my hostel so i completely become what I can say, terrible. So then uh, I struggled a lot, and uh, they 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 even say they 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 insulted me a lot. After that, uh, politically we influenced, and they are compelled to do do it. So many times they done the same. After some meetings, they will say you can't. Then uh, even my tenth, I can say I'm I'm really feared like the exam. What they will do, and I will I. Uh, actually, my parents is ready to come with my my home, and I know they are very they are struggling a lot. That's why I didn't fool. At the exam time, I said I'm I'm coming to home and going. So otherwise, I can't achieve this. That's my terrible situation. Think about this is a blind school hostel. That's important. They are saying like they are empowering blind and they are developing blind. But imagine what they are doing. There is a lot of congratulation messages are there. One is uh, Pradab Kumar Raut. Heartfelt congratulations to Harun for his bright career. From Ovia Neveli, congratulations, Harun. Proud of you. Uh, Pille Ashodi Mohan, really proud to see Harun and to learn his experience. Special congratulations to Harun and all his mentors who gave him the most thing, confidence to move ahead. May you rock at Stanford. Thank you. Great, great, great. Yeah, any other questions? If there is any questions after this program also, you can write to ofb.org.in and uh, we will answer the question. We will also support to, ready to support anyone who wants Specialized in there is Kannan. Congratulations, Harun. God bless you. Thank you, everyone, for congratulating and supporting and praying for me. Okay, if there is no other question, let us wind up tonight's program on behalf of OFB. Let me thank Harun for his time and sharing his experiences and uh, his vision, passion, and everything about his life. Thank you, Harun. May God bless you. Thank you all for participating. Today we have a very good uh, participant today. Thank you all. And see you all next Sunday with another Pro talk. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Um.